This is your friend, Pastor Roy Olson, coming to you again as now a missionary to Romania with a session three of what we would call personal evangelism. But the fact is that the personal evangelism means that you, you speak to a person one-on-one -on -one or in a very small group and uh, you share with them the essence of uh, the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, it's a very uh, open, friendly, warm, caring uh, atmosphere and uh, relationship that you want to build in order to uh, share the gospel. It's not a debate. It's not an argument. It's just a very, very warm, kindly, loving, caring thing. And so I thought I would uh, deal right up front about a, uh, uh, a, a criticism. Yes, criticism of, uh, for instance, this, this method and uh, one of the criticisms is, Roy, don't you know that the Bible says that uh, the devils also believe and they tremble? Uh, I guess that indicates that uh, uh, the belief in the Lord Jesus Christ is not sufficient because they do it and uh, the, they tremble. I guess that means that they're, they're in perdition or their future is lost. Well, that's uh, an easy one because the atonement of Jesus Christ, his death on the cross at Calvary, was not for created spirits such as angels or demons or devils. Jesus did not die for them. They do not have an atonement. And therefore, yes, devils believe. And yes, they tremble. But you and I, because of the death, we call it the, the uh, sacrificial atoning death or the vicarious, meaning in place of somebody else, the vicarious atoning death of the Lord Jesus Christ applies to every human being. Why? because only they were made in the image and likeness of God, and it's for only those for whom Jesus died. And how effective is that death? Well, the death of the Lord Jesus Christ and his uh, atoning sacrifice is of such worth, the Bible speaks of the precious blood of Christ, is so valuable that it is effective for all sin of all mankind for all eternity. The amount of sin, uh, the, uh, the depravity of sin, the, the, the good sinner, the bad sinner, the many sins, the few sins, he died for them all. And there is no sin that is committed that uh, cannot be forgiven by God. Well, you say, well, what about the unforgivable sin? Well, anybody who is concerned about the unforgivable sin didn't do it. Because a person who, who perhaps has committed that, and I never met anybody who has, but if they have, uh, they could care less. They just don't care. If you care and you're troubled by it, it means you didn't do it. Okay, our lesson today, which is uh, session three, is found in the book of Hebrew, uh, excuse me, Ephesians. The, the book of Ephesians in the chapter two, uh, verse eight, goes something like this. For by grace you have been saved through faith, and that, not of yourself, 
It is the gift of God. Let's go through that one more time. Follow me, please, as I try to, uh, what we call, exegete this scripture. Uh, the Apostle Paul is writing to uh, a church in the city of Ephesus, and he's trying to explain to them some of the beautiful uh, mysteries and splendor and uh, insights into uh, the gospel, the message of the Lord Jesus Christ. And he is saying to them, it's the goodness of God by grace, by the goodness, the sheer goodness of God. It sounds like uh, John 3.16, for God so loved the world. Well, by grace, the goodness, the, the, the kindness that you find in the heart of God, by grace, that kindness, you have been saved through faith. And again, John 3, 6, and whoever believes in him, and here again, it underscores that, that uh, by the goodness of God, we have been saved through, it comes to us through our faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. So by grace, you have been saved through faith. And then the, the uh, next verse, Ephesians 2, um, 9, says, And that, that is the, the, the faith, that faith, that is not of yourself. You didn't conjure it up. You didn't try to force yourself to s somehow uh, um, accept uh, some doctrines or something. No, uh, the, the faith in order to believe in the Lord Jesus. It's a gift of God. God helps you to get insight, to understand um, uh, what Jesus did, why he did it. He didn't die for himself. He died for us. That's why we use the word vicarious. The vicarious atoning death of the Lord Jesus Christ. And we, we believe in that. We, we, we acknowledge the need of it. So it, that it's not of yourself, even that is a gift of God. Why? So nobody can post. Nobody can say, oh, I'm, I'm Mr. Holy, I'm Mr. Goody Two-Shoes. Uh, my good outweighs my bad. I give a lot of money to the church. I attend church. My grandmother was a Christian. My grandfather was a priest. None of that um, accrues to saving faith. It's one-on-one, -on -one, it's your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. And so he says, you know, uh, nobody can boast, nobody, why? Well, we can see in another place, it says, we're all sinners. Rub-a-dub-dub, -dub, three men in a tub. The butcher, the baker, the candlestick maker, and us. We're all in the same condition and we have failed. Uh, it comes to me as no surprise that I may have failed God. I've even failed myself. But uh, we have come short of God's expectation of us. So it's, it's not that we can earn uh, enough points, so to speak, or credits so that we can now say, I deserve it. Never happened, never will happen because the only the precious blood of the Lord Jesus Christ is sufficient. So just going through it uh, one more time. Ephesians chapter 2 verses 8 and 9. For by grace you have been saved. Saved from what? Saved from hell. By grace, the goodness of God, you have been saved through faith. Through what? Faith. And that, not of yourselves, the faith, not of yourself, you didn't conjure it up, is not of yourself, it's a gift of God, so that nobody can boast. So that's, uh, that's really very liberating to realize that I don't have to try to be good. I have to strengthen my faith, and uh, the... Uh, a lot of this is deeply dependent on the Holy Spirit. 
You say, Roy, are you trying to convince people? Absolutely, I am trying to convince people. Um, Apostle Paul uh, endeavored to convince people. Apollos endeavored to convince people. We convince them of the truth of God, and then we rely on the Holy Spirit to take that and, and, and make it personal, apply it personally, um, so that uh, we have a motto in our work in Romania. It's called information, inspiration, impartation, implementation. Uh, information, give them the information. The information is the scripture passages that tell us who has eternal life or who is saved. And uh, so, so from information, you get inspiration. In other words, wow, there's a way where I can know that I can go to heaven and I'll be saved from eternal damnation. Wow. So information, inspiration, and then impartation. That's a, a total reliance on the Holy Spirit. You share this with people and it goes like, off, like water off a duck's back. But other people, they're ready. They, uh, the light goes on. They understand that they qualify for being saved. Why? Because it's by the goodness of God that they have been saved through faith. And that's not of yourself. It's a gift of God. So to God be the glory. And then as you share this, you, you, you exegete it. You, you take it apart and you examine what the Apostle Paul is saying, uh, and, and somebody says, yes, I believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, and yes, I believe that he is God, uh, he is God manifest in flesh, he's the Son of God, and he, he lived a sinless life, he, he died on the cross, he was buried, and he rose again the third day from the dead, and he is alive today, I believe that. Whoever believes in him will not perish, but have everlasting life. And by grace you say, say through faith, and that matters is a gift of God. And so now it's time to thank the Lord for his incredible, wonderful gift. God bless you. This is Pastor Roy. And uh, this is session three, and we'll be back for more Golden Nuggets.